Today's Namaste Yoga is part of the Keeping It Real Yoga Style series, and today's class is on non striving. Hello and welcome to episode 140 of Namaste Yoga. We're continuing our Keeping It Real Yogi Style series based on John Kabat-Zinn's book, Full Catastrophe Living, and his list of qualities for mindful living that works so well as qualities that we bring to yoga and to living as well on and off the yoga mats. And today, our quality that we're bringing to yoga is non-striving. So I would like to begin today by thanking Squeezed Yoga Clothing for our awesome clothing. And I'm going for another kind of quirky combination of colors again today. So um, I'm wearing the lilac tank with the cherry blossom top and the moss leggings with the Om Mane Padme Om mantra on the right ankle. And you can get those at www.squeezed.ca. And I want to thank you also for your donations. You can make donations at www.melissawest.com. And I also wanted to share a testimonial with you this morning. This is from Kara from New Zealand. She said, I wanted to share, oh, that's me. I wanted to share this testimonial. This is hers. I recently came across your yoga video and website by accident, and I'm so glad I did. I do your morning yoga sequence regularly, and I'm working my way through the beginner yoga series. After just a couple of weeks of yoga, I am starting to notice a difference in my body. I feel less wound up. Oh, isn't that such a great feeling? I also started yoga to help in my emotional life, and I feel like I'm reaping the benefits in that too. I'm looking forward to getting into your chakra balancing sessions. That was such a great series, the Chakra and Archetype series. And if you go to my YouTube page, you can see I have on the right-hand column of my YouTube page, we, I have playlists of some of my series there, and the chakra series is there. Uh, she says, thank you for what you do. I thank you at the end of every session. I love your relaxed style and feel like you are present in my home. Many blessings, Kara from New Zealand. Thank you so much for leaving your comments on iTunes and YouTube. It helps other people just like you find us. Now it's even easier to do that at www.thankyoumelissa.com. Tim's done two terrific videos there to explain how to do that and made it really easy for you. And you spell Melissa with one L and two S's in my case. Also, thank you for making us Canada's most popular free one-hour online yoga show. And another fun thing on my website now, we're doing daily short videos on my blog. So if you go to melissawest.com and you click on my blog, uh, you can see some short videos. We did a really fun one just the other day. If you People are sending in their questions, and you can send in your questions to me. You can email them to me at info at melissawest.com. Or you can, Tim's saying, please, don't worry, we get tons of them, Tim. <laughs> um, but keep them coming, that's great. We, we you know, we, we do one every day, so we need 365 a year. Um, you can email them to me, you can post them on Facebook, you can put them on YouTube, wherever, I get them. Um, anyway, 
we do that and we get your questions and then we make a video and we post them on my Living Your Yoga channel. And they're about a minute or two minutes long. We answer your questions. We did a really fun one yesterday. Somebody asked, what pose can you do if you can't do child's pose? And then we went even further than that. We helped you figure out what poses you can do to help you so that you can eventually come into child's pose. And it was fun because our friend Larry popped by and we made him get in the video because he actually couldn't do child's pose. So we had him demonstrate and then he was in the video so they're kind of fun and they're quick and easy and and you might get your question answered also um our membership site if you want even more videos and more content if the one a week isn't enough and you want to deepen your practice you can find out more about that on my website at melissawest.com it's really super reasonable 8.95 a month or $79.95 a year is the cost for that. And that's where we put all our really premium content. I know our members are super enjoying the new content we put up for this month. We did a chakra balancing series one video for each day of the week. And they were short 20 to 30 minute classes, one through Monday through Friday. And then we did a brand new upper back, neck and shoulders series for them. Uh, series, just one a one hour class. and. Uh, that was the upper back, neck, and shoulders, too, and they love that one, too. And I think for next month, we're working on, they were interested in doing another series like the chakra one. We're going to do a kosha one. So there are five koshas. They're layers of your body. So kind of like the chakras. And so we're going to do five of those, one for Monday through Friday. And that will be really cool, too. So we're always creating content on the membership site based on the members' feedback and what it is that they want. Um, one other thing, we created a brand new video. Well, it's not that new, actually. It took a long time to birth. Uh, the prenatal yoga video is now available in our shop. So if you know anybody who is pregnant and looking for a really great, fantastic prenatal yoga practice, then that is the one. You can find that in our shop at melissawest.com. Okay, so let's get to today's practice on non-striving. You can go ahead and rest back and lie down on your back. So almost everything we do in our life, we do for a purpose. But in yoga, doing things for a purpose can be a real obstacle. How many times have you heard me say on Namaste Yoga and probably even more on the membership site, how many times have you heard me say infinite time and no ambition. So yoga has no goal other than for you to be your true self. The irony is, and John Kabat-Zinn points this out, is that you already are your true self. You simply are practicing yoga to uncover what you may have forgotten, what life may have covered up. So sometimes we use the image of a, a mirror that may have gotten dirtied. In yoga, it may be a new way of being in which you do less and be more. In yoga, we intentionally cultivate an attitude of non-striving. When you come to the yoga mat, if you come with an attitude of self-improving, then you are saying whatever is happening here on the yoga mat is not okay. And then it's that attitude of judging 
that we were getting away from in the first class that we did on the Keeping It Real Yoga Style class. Mindfulness means paying attention to whatever is happening with complete and total acceptance. And try to back off from striving and instead see and accept things as they are. With patience and regular practice, movement towards your goals will take place by themselves. So reflect on this attitude of non-striving and how it relates to you and your life right now. And begin to cultivate your intention for your practice today. And then when you're ready, you can start to wiggle and stretch out. Okay, so you can start to wiggle and stretch out. And we're going to start lying on your stomach today. You're going to need a couple of props today, probably... Uh, a Mexican blanket if you have one that I've just thrown off the set. <laughs> um, you'll need a strap if you have one. If not, you can take your bath tie from your, your tie from your bathrobe. Put it at the top of your mat. You're going to need a block as well, but you're not going to need it for a bit. You, if you have two yoga mats, roll them out side by side. Okay? You can use two side by side horizontally here. That would be useful. Put everything at the top of your mat. You're gonna lie on your stomach. On the right side of your mat, with your right leg up to your side. And breathe and allow the front of your right hip, your groin, to open up towards the ground. And then extend your right leg out to the side. And breathe and keep opening up the inside of your right hip towards the ground. Breathing. Exhaling deeply into the ground. Okay, now you're going to bring your left arm out by your right leg here and roll away from your right leg. So you're in a recline twist here.
and then reach overhead for your yoga strap and hook your right foot up roll all the way onto your back and draw your right leg up and stretch out the back of your right leg relax your shoulders let your head be heavy here space between your teeth jaws relaxed Keep your left leg really heavy on the ground. Open your right leg out to the side. So non-striving here, the most important thing is that your left hip isn't lifting off. So you may need to back your right leg off here and feel the stretch in the belly of your right muscle your right inner thigh you don't want to feel it in your right knee Okay, and then you're going to let your right leg drop all the way to the ground now. Just, you got to put your listening ears on here. <laughs> Don't change the position of your legs. You're going to roll towards your right leg. Keep rolling. And you're going to just roll, roll, roll. And then you'll come into Dying Warrior so that your right leg stays out to the side, your left leg stays dropping, and then you lower your chest towards the ground. You're looking towards your left leg. Your arms are out to the side. Okay, and then you're going to gather yourselves up and we'll repeat that whole sequence on the other side. So this time you'll be on the left side of your mat with your left leg out to the side. Opening up the inside of your left leg towards the ground Remember just to keep your strap up over top of your head so it's easy to grab it later. Then straighten your left leg out to the side so you deepen the stretch on the inside of your left leg. Keep 
Keep opening up the inside of your left leg and the inside of your left groin towards the ground. Soften your body into the ground. And then you're going to take your right arm, tuck it underneath you, and you're going to roll onto your back, drag your left leg so that you're rolling into a twist here. Lengthen your legs long out of your pelvis. And then reach overhead, grab your strap, roll all the way onto your back. Take your left leg straight into the air. And stretch out the back of your left leg. Let your shoulders be relaxed. Open your left leg out to the side. Keep your right leg heavy. Non-striving, don't get atta too attached to how far out this leg is going. Relax your grip on the strap. And then open your leg all the way to the ground. Okay, and here, just let your legs stay in the same position that they are. You're going to roll towards your left leg. Take your left arm behind you, and then you lower your chest towards the ground. Your arms come out to the side, and you look towards your left leg, dying warrior pose. Your right leg points straight down, your left leg is out to the side, tucked underneath you. Okay, and then gather yourself up. You can unhook your foot. Yeah.
trying to get you to come into a downward facing dog after all that. So come on to all fours on your mat. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Tuck your toes under. Inhale. Exhale. Come back into downward facing dog. Ah, oh, feels so good. And then from here, take care. I'm just gonna turn my mat over for a sec here. We need good grip for this, and I don't have good grip here. But I have good grip on this side of my mat. So, here we go. Good grip. Take your right leg up behind you. I want you to reach your right leg up and behind you. Start straight so you really open your hip and then you can get some extra stretch there if you bend your leg. And then bring your right leg through, right knee up to your right wrist, left leg long behind you. And you can fold forward over your bent right leg for pigeon pose. Say hello to your hips this morning. Well, it's morning for me, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. Oh. Hello, hips. And then, let's come back and do that again. I'm going to curl my mat under again for better grip. Tuck your back toes under. Come back into downward facing dog. Reach your left leg behind you. Open up your, I knew that was going to happen. Open up your hip. Bend your leg. And then bring your knee forward to your left ankle, left heel over towards your right hip. Reach your right leg behind you. And then you can fold forward over your bent left knee. Hmm. Hello, other hip. Relax your jaw, space between your teeth. You pick this up and we will come back to downward facing dog tuck your toes under back to down dog and from down dog we will come up to standing so walk your feet into your hands and come all the way up to standing
Okay, so from standing, we're gonna release your hips a little bit more. We're gonna do this, you're gonna need your block now, or you can stand on a stair if you don't have a block. <clears throat> you're gonna stand on your block and you're just gonna swing your leg. Get that hip nice and loosened up. It feels good. It feels a lot longer. You can feel the difference between your two legs. Even on the hill, I can feel it. And then we'll do this on the other side as well. You can actually feel that point when you do this where your your leg kind of goes chunk <laughs> and falls lower in your hip socket. You can feel it just kind of drops. When you feel that, that's probably good enough. Okay, so that feels really good, nice and dropped out of your hip sockets. You're taller. This is one of the reasons why you get taller when you practice your yoga. Okay, so now what we're gonna practice is half moon balancing pose. I chose this posture for our class on non-striving because if you strive in this pose, you're going down. <laughs> if you allow this pose to open gradually, like a flower opens to the sun, as I said in the description, then it will you'll be able to do this beautifully. But if you're like, I'm going to do this pose, then you are going to fall. So I have the added challenge of doing this pose on a hill today. <laughs> Tim saying, yeah, yeah, just do it. <laughs> it's hard doing poses on a hill. Okay, so we're going to do this pose, non-striving. I'm going to not strive to do this pose, even on the hill. So, I like using the block for this pose. It helps a lot. Okay, so come into standing forward fold. Place your block about a foot in front of your left foot, and then place your left hand on your block. And then you're going to take your right leg up and behind you. And you're going to open up your right hip. Keep your eyes on the ground. That's your drishti. Draw your navel up and in. Lift up through your pelvic floor. Find a point to focus on. You can lift your right arm up. Remember, there will be some movement in your balancing pose. Now, you can turn your head, but that gets your inner ear involved, and that gets more challenging. I'm going to opt not to. I'm going to keep my drishti on the ground today. Good. All right. Let's try this pose on the other side. My mic packs so you can hear me on the side too. <clears throat> so we will begin by coming into standing forward fold. Take your block by your right foot, about a foot in front of it. Take your left leg up and behind you. Find that point to focus on. Open up your left hip. Nice 
when you feel ready, you can open up your left arm. Allow yourself to expand and expand in this pose in a non-striving way. <laughs> Slowly, infinite time and no ambition. That's your mantra here. Breathe. Feel your connection to the ground. Okay, and then we're going to come to the ground and we're going to practice some seated forward folds. Okay, so come to seated. If you have a Mexican blanket, it would be a good idea or a blanket, a nice wool blanket. You want a thick, a thick and dense blanket that you can give yourself some elevation on be a good idea to get that and fold it up to give yourself a little bit of lift through your hips. I'm going to come and sit with your feet wide. I'm going to come into wide-legged seated forward fold, Upavisa Konasana here. And then slowly come up. We'll come over towards your left leg. Bring your right leg in. We'll do Janu Sarsasana. Coming back up from Janu Susasana, cross your right leg all the way over your left leg. We'll do Matsi Andrasana. And from Matsi Andrasana, we'll do, I need to adjust myself on that, <laughs> on my blanket. We'll do half cow's face. And here in forward folds too, for a lot of us, we need to practice non-striving too. So really here we can see how all the other ideas of mindfulness come together, non-judgment, acceptance, everything comes together here. Take your legs straight out, do Paschimottanasana. Come back to Upavisa Kanasana. Coming up. Janu Sasana over your right leg now. 
just being present to who you are right now, where you are, accepting that without judgment. Trusting where you are in the process. Inhaling, come up. Cross your left leg over your, your right leg. Wrap your right arm around your left leg. Turn towards it. Matsi and Dwesna. Cross your left leg over your right leg. Cows face forward fold. Take both legs forward. Paschimottanasana. And then come forward and up and rest back for Shavasana. Rest back in Shavasana with your palms up beside you, knees bent and your feet flat on the ground. If your low back is bothering you, if your low back isn't bothering you, you can lie with your legs straight out.
Allow your breath to deepen. Gradually wiggle and stretch out. And consider how you might bring this attitude of non-striving with you into your life as you begin to make your way up to seated. Thank you for joining us for episode 140 of Namaste Yoga. I'll see you on the membership site or I'll see you next week. Namaste.